Hey there, everybody. Fet here, and welcome back. Fet plays the darkest dungeon. Last time, Reynold, Desmus, Purple, Smart, and Brettville went into the manor or the mansion itself, cleared it out, and laid a path to the actual darkest dungeon. Also, all stress removed. Um, cool. Yeah, our first uh, proper attempt in the darkest dungeon saw a bunch of cultists. Uh, they were not happy to see us. That's okay. Feeling was at least kind of mutual. You know what I mean? Uh, all right. Today, though. Hmm. Do I have an interesting team for you? Check this out. Vatvil, the Commandant, Osmond, the, uh, Bombard. I was gonna say Explodey Boy. Uh, Paracelsus, the Plague Doctor, and Carteret, the Bowman. Let's go ahead and get them some, uh, beautiful equipment here, shall we? The thin red line for Vatvil, the price of glory as his armor. Siege Breakers for Osmond, and the Bunker to protect himself. The Bubonic Herald for Paracelsus, and the Malignant Mantle for protection, and then Sharanga and Dinban for Carteret, as well as the Karna Kavacha. Let's go. All right, and in the guild, we're gonna level up some skills, of course. Officer's Pistol, definitely. On kill, all heroes get stress relief, and it marks the target. All the good things. We're not taking Perilous Ground today, so I'm actually not gonna level it up, but three for five is not bad. We are going to upgrade Rally the Troops. Three speed and 20% damage on use and clear stuns. A little strong, if I do say so myself. Three damage and 70% reflection from Iron Embrace. And then finally, we're going to actually use on my target today. Maybe. I mean, we might use it. I'm going to upgrade it. We'll see if we use it. Bypass the stealth. De-stealths the enemies, of course. Um, prepares to fire. And then, of course, a couple turns later, fires a bombardment. 4% accuracy at base, plus 100%, 105% against marked targets. A lot of damage, a lot of stun chance. It's a free action. We'll see how much we get to use it. Osmond, you're, we're also going to switch things up for you. We are going to keep breaching charge. Does some good damage. Uh, pierces armor. All good things, all good things. Uh, I don't think we're taking Kaboom today. I don't think, feel like this is the place to take it, especially with you in the second position. We are going to upgrade and take Concussive Blast, though. Minus 20% stun resist, which we probably won't be using all that often, but we could with Paracelsus. Don't get it twisted. Minus 7 speed, though, is a huge-ass deal. Um, and we're going to take and keep uh, this rearmament, which only debuffs speed by 1 now, which is barely a punishment. Instead of firing the hole, though, we're actually going to take Headbutt. I know, right? Let's get that accuracy up. So his skill set is going to be Headbutt. Breaching Charge, Concussive Blast, Rearmament. Should be fun, should be fun. Paracelsus, 7 for 3 and lowers accuracy. Uh, 6 for 3. Now the question is, do I take... I, I, I'm sure I want the Bleeding Blight. Do I take the damage from Emboldening Vapors or do I go with Blinding Gas? And I'm actually tempted, now that I thought about it, to go for Blinding Gas. 140% is a pretty big deal. So we're going to go with that. Yes, I know I could have more damage, but Carteret, you could have plenty of damage. Piercing Arrow is going to stay. Extra Bleed and Blight debuffs. Extra Bleed and Blight chance. 50% Armor Piercing. Pretty good, pretty good. Plus 30% damage. Oh, for the Piercing Arrow, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then Vital Snipe, of course. We're going to take that as well. Again, 50% Armor Piercing. Pretty good, pretty good. And then finally, the Kill. Just in case enemies decide to, you know get low health. I don't know why they would want to do that, but if they decide to, that's what we're going to do with them. We're going to take on the Gibbering Prophet today. We're going to try to get his eyeball and uh, get a Sacred Scroll for the Vestal, because, you know, they don't heal enough. <laughs> As you know. Could go with this. Lowers the damage of on my target, but adds a 3 for 3 Blight, which is actually not that bad. Um, it does 50% extra damage. It would be good damage, but it would not be... Let's just say Carter it would hurt harder. So I'm going to take that. We're going to try it out. Uh, on my target, has a 20% chance to mark targets if I take the flare gun. Um, I'm not going to take that because I have a lot of other trinkets I need to give him. Getting the Breacher's Helm for the Bombard, though. 10% extra accuracy and 20% extra damage to his headbutt. Plus 5 speed, which is pretty big. 
Minus 200% move chance, which is good, because I don't want him shuffling. And then 40%, 140%, excuse me, chance to stun. And then extra prot, lowers the speed back down a little bit, but on friendly skill, gain a block. Paracelsus, what do you get? Extra blight chance of bandages are in inventory. Also, bleed and blight if you get hit. I think that's going to be all right. You can get rid of bleeding blights yourself. Plus 20 dodge if we have medicinal herbs, which we're going to have, of course. Mm, we don't have the empowered thing. That's okay. Extra blight amount seems pretty good at the cost of speed. 40% extra blight chance seems phenomenal, and extra stun chance seems uh, nominal. All right. Big game trophy is not needed because the boss is not a big creature, so I'd rather go get regular damage. But definitely don't need to eat no food today with no extra food all right now we can look into the actual good stuff um well first of all grimoire because of course you know what we're doing you smart lads give him everything absolutely everything needed to completely wreck ass um okay so what are we missing from this kit? We're missing tops, which I definitely need because on hit is better than on attack. So we definitely need that in the kit. I guess I can get rid of Accuser's Claw. Yeah, he still has 23% crit chance, which does get better. Um, yes, it does get better over use. I mean, I could go with the cannon as well, which would give him accuracy and crit. That might be better than the Mask of Frenzy. I don't know, though. That's a lot of extra damage. And it's on hit. Oh, there's so many choices to make. You know what? We can we can afford the food. All right, let's do it. Go all in on breaking them. Paracelsus, I would like you to have... Uh, good question. Life Soul Key, I think. Maybe some extra stun? Yeah, 10% extra stun chance seems good, since you can stun two enemies at once. I feel like that's more useful on you than it would be on others. You don't need anything damage-related. Wadden Sword, Wadden Horse seems like a good deal. You get some speed out of that, as well as the debuffs on enemies. Although other people have better reasons to have it. You know? More accuracy seems good. That seems useful. It could be useful for anyone, but it seems particularly useful for you. Uh, again, because you can hit multiple enemies. I'm not giving you the Last Light Martyr's Halo. Ah, let's give you the Antitoxin. Okay. Osmond. I'm going to give you the dice. Yeah, I'm going to give you the Brass Nux, because that's extra stun chance. Yup, yup, yuppers. I'm going to give you the Wadden Sword, Wadden Horse combo, because you have... Uh, concussive Blast, which will hit all enemies most likely, and then give them a nice debuff if things go correctly. War Soul Key goes to you because you got great damage, and then the Handy Flare for the same reason. Vaughtville, you're getting the weirdest set. You're getting Last Light Martyr's Halo. Yup, yup, yuppers. You're getting Silver Syringe for even more heals? Mm-hmm. Why don't we also give you... Since you're in the front, let's give you the seal so that you can heal yourself every time you heal others. Don't forget... Rally the tro Troops affects all friendlies, so that means everyone's going to get a heal. 20% extra damage, 3 speed. Oh, and uh, clear stun. And it can be used as many times as we need it to be. Yeah. No extra damage, but uh, he's got quite a few good things built in. This is going to be nuts. That's my prediction. Absolutely, positively, nut -a -loony. I don't need six of these, but I'm taking them anyway because I'm going to... We're in Sixville, all right? It's all about the 6666. Except for the laudanum. <laughs> Taking all the laudanum. All right. I think we're good to go. Let's go take on a prophet. Finally, resigned to his uncommon corporeal resilience, I lured him to the dig. There, I showed him the thing and detailed the full extent of my plans. Triumphantly, I watched as he tore his eyes from their sockets and ran shrieking into the shadows, wailing maniacally that the end was upon us all. Didn't you do that, Ancestor? Pretty sure, if I remember from the intro video of the, of the game, you also ran, you know, shrieking and wailing. 
the so I don't know why you're so proud of it. Tittering reverberate maddeningly. I'll give you a titter. Hey, a uh, immediate secret room. Pretty good start. Pretty good start. I will say the commandant looks good at the front. Um, so it's just regular stuff unless we use something on it. Uh, use a shovel. Take it. Good. All right. Move on. Not my favorite secret room, but it is what it is, and it's all that it is. That's all that it shall be. All right. Thanks for the feather crystal, I guess. Didn't see that coming. Not complaining, though. All right. I appreciate how the uh, Bombard and the Commandant have very similar helmet structures. 100%. Well, hard to beat that. Savatville walking through the ruins. Just taking care of literally everything in our path. Well, except the enemies. That's going to be more Osman. Or not Osman. Um, Osman will help. But, yeah, we'll go down here for gits and shiggles. Let's see, what do we got? Hundo, 65, 70, Hundo. Okay. Just wondering. Um, Yeah, Carter, it's going to be our, our main destroyer of enemies. Please understand. So we've got at least two battles up ahead that are not... Uh, optional. This one is completely optional. Not that we're not gonna have fun with it. Look at all this crap. Yeah, that's all right. It's start with double damage. 18% extra. Oh, not 18. Freaking 30, what? 3% extra crit chance? What is this game? Um. Hit prick. Yeah, a little bit of stress. Oh, look, you got an extra move. Do it again. <laughs> and he gets to get rid of his stress. Oh my god. This game. Okay, just crit heal yourself. That's cool. This freaking game. Impressive. Oh my god, he got the move again. Do it again. <laughs> He's got 19 speed. And, uh, whoa, boy. 54% crit chance, guaranteed crits. Obliterated. Oh, it healed him. And we can't do it again. That's fine. I was going to power him up with Iron Embrace, but I feel like that's not necessary anymore. So we're just going to kill it. The Doom Tooth, huh? Well, enjoy your 14 Bleeding Blight. Actually, no, enjoy your headbutt. Boom, baby. Give them no quarter. Well, can only speak for myself. But the uh, mind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. I'll tell you right now, ancestor, this team cannot be overconfident. Did you see that performance? Oh yeah, it's coming in with a guy who does 520% extra damage. All right, let's see how this works out. He has 21 speed. He doesn't even have a speed buff. He just has 21 speed. Extra speed in the hallway. Extra speed on the first round. On guard is even more. So he has plus eight speed on the first round. Plus three in hallways. Plus two from this. Plus two when the torch is high. So what is that? Um, wow. Uh, sorry, I, I lost track. Uh, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 speed. <laughs> oh, God. He's too much. Um. Enjoy. A powerful blow. Oh no, I've been hit for five damage. Whatever shall I do? Please. Show me mercy. Big giant man. A time to perform beyond one's limits. Bye. Inspiration and improvement. Well, that was fun. Uh. 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 They're a little strong. I, I say they. It's all. It's literally all been Carteret so far. Like, yeah, Osmond got a headbutt in, and Bobville got one shot. He he's going to destroy this team immediately. Actually, maybe not. He did lose a lot of buffs from walking down the hallways. 
See, this, this is the thing. This is the thing that could screw over the uh, boss the most, which the boss has to be right here, I believe. Maybe here, but probably here. Uh, if there's a hallway battle right before the boss, that is going to be the worst thing that could happen to him. A devastating blow. Which is almost, oh, of course, he gets an extra move. Which is almost ironic, you know? Like, the more fights you give Carter, the stronger he's going to get. Especially if you place them next to each other. Bye! Annihilated. Nice knowing ya! Well. As victories mm. mount, so too will resistance. Would have thought wa ranged, ranged weaponry? Wow, okay, good job that. You were good, man. You were good. Who'd have thought ranged weaponry was so powerful? <laughs> Couldn't be me. A brilliant confluence of skill and purpose. Thanks, uh, ancestor. We're just, uh, really just getting our shoot juice on. Eradicated. To be fair, that was just a triple, but at the same time, mm, maybe a triple. A trifling victory. Indeed. But a victory nonetheless. I actually don't think I've heard the phrase trifling victory in this game used so aptly. Like, I'm almost hesitant. Go for the more battles. Let's get some fights in here. Let's see if let's see if we can give any enemy a chance to attack before we get to the boss. Oh my god, are you joking me? You genuine fools. Alright. Cool. Eight speed, huh? I mean, to be fair, I do hate you. You haunting grotesque. Probably my least favorite enemy from this mod pack. Not that he's badly designed or anything. I just find him annoying as shit. Um... Well struck. Oh, we still got a good crit, but it wasn't a, a triple crit, so we didn't get any big bonuses out of that. Uh, that said... Bye-bye. Alright, I'm happy enough. Blossoms. Let's... You have less health, so let's go for you with that. I mean, obviously, we weren't gonna get a... Crit. Uh, well, we, you know, kill him. Destroyed. Hey, that's stress relief. Oh boy! Reeling. I swear to God, you give the enemies an inch, they take a mile. Boom, baby. That's what you get. All right, all right. Um, I wish I had an attack that wouldn't kill you, to be honest, but. Because I'd like to get some stress relief. Well, heals, really. It's all right, though. Seize this We're suffering momentum. from success. Push on to the task's end. Eh, well, that's what happens. You let them attack. They'll take it. We're fine, though. Everybody's fine. Did you drop the torch again? Jeez. How presumptive. Also, again? Double bony warden boys. All right. Well, let's give them what they're going to get. Nice crit heal, by the way. Not that you need it. I can't believe that's a self heal by six. The blood quickens. No, oh, baby, some triples. Okay. Um, I think we can still take out the back line. Let's go ahead and do the concussive blast. It'll do a little bit of damage. <laughs> That's dumb. I love it. All right, get rid of the stress, boy. A singular strike. Enjoy your singulars. Beautiful, beautiful. And then you get rid of them. Oh no! Botville. Gently. What the hell, this dude? Is how life is taken. Honestly, you kind of deserve that. Not everyone behind you, though. Never-ending torment. Did you just kill your own Bone Lancer in order to stress us out a little bit? Even the boldest gaze. All right, you whack, yo. Um, bye. Stress that. Yeah, you know, I'd like to have a heal turn, but I literally can't if Carteret keeps killing everyone immediately. Precipitates a dizzying fall. I literally cannot have a turn to heal. Terrors may indeed stalk these shadows, but indeed. yonder, a glint of gold. A whole ass glint, huh? Alright. 
Osman could use some stress relief. Eventually. I mean, we haven't even taken advantage of the plus two damage. Uh, we can't. There's no time to. Hey, Collector, how you doing? Twisted and made merciless. How's life, man? Very hard? Glad to hear it. Uh, we're gonna give you a vital snipe. I hope you're okay with that. If you're not, uh, don't tell me. Mainly because I don't care. There you go. There goes your vitals. Alright, alright. Uh, can we go for the stun? What's our stun chance? Uh, with this, it's 140. 55. That's not bad. Not bad. Especially if we crit. No crit. We broke his head, though. Let's freaking go. Okay, so it doesn't target himself. Thankfully, he has a seal, so he heals himself either way. Masterfully That's how you make sure the plan comes together. Ooh, that seems like it heights. Oh, well, okay, Osman, you can go first. That's fine. You got 20 damage. Stun him again. Oh my god, he actually did it. I was kidding. I was kidding about that, man. Then why you actually do it? How the hell is 14 speed Carteret going after six speed Paracelsus? This game. A predator is often blind well, to its own peril. That happened. Thanks for the rock. Success so clearly in No, evil. not this. Key. Or is it merely a trick of the light? You gotta make sure you use the right trinket in the right place. Or right item, I should say. Key is technically not a trinket. It's just an item that you can use. I don't know what I expected here, but... Oh my god, they actually put a room battle. Oh, a hallway battle in there. We're gonna go over here first, though. Might as well clear out all the fights. I can't believe they actually did this. What were they thinking? You foolish game. Don't you know how badly you just screwed them over? By them, I mean the... the Prophet? What the frick is this enemy composition? What is this? Why is this? I mean... I don't understand. Just two dudes. They're not even that strong of dudes. Oh wow, no crits. Alright. That happens. Um, because decisive bubbling. There we go. Lower their speed, up their crits received, up stun chance. Uh oh, that wasn't that bad. I mean, it's more damage the farther back. Some for some reason. There we go. All right. Uh, yeah, let's get him out of here. Some weak ass damage, but it's over. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Well, not completely over. There you go. You don't really need that, but enjoy the block. This will get rid of them. Yep, that gets rid of them. That's the word I'm trying to think of. Oh, God. Stealth. That's the word I was trying to think of. <laughs> trying to think of the word stealth. Stealth. Words. Damn it. Just kill him. Decimated. So I can move on and stop. Embarrassing myself. Foolish horrors. Brought low and driven into the mud. Alright, not bad, not bad. By not bad, I mean oh my god. We're too much. It's too much, we're too strong. And now we gotta fight this. I was kinda hoping you'd be a shambler, but that's alright. Gotcha! Mm hmm. Remember that last for eight rounds for some reason that I do not understand. It's too good. And now we're gonna use it. Oh, yeah. Hey, a bleed to the front. Sweet. So, did I accidentally leave my bleed arrows? Eh, whatever. Um, concuss. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, baby! Hey, that, that dice coming to play. Continue the onslaught. Yeah, I'll get rid of that stress. Them. 
Keep that torch down, please. All right, this guy has a ton of health. And by that, I mean he, he did. He uh, doesn't have so much health no more. Yeah, am I on bleed arrow? Yeah, I did. I left it on bleed. That's all right. He ain't got no prot, so it doesn't matter. There we go. And done. Cool. The hell is this? Sedatives. Oh, I think I have those. Promises success. Moving on. We don't have any stress, so I guess we don't need to worry about that. Here comes the boss. The hey there, Prophet. There, How you the doing pews. behind the pews? Mm, get down. Get down on it. Yo, I just realized, you know what we could do? We could have Osman guard every time. Oh my gosh. It's, it's, this just keeps getting better and better. Because he could throw a guard on someone. Oh, we are going to get so many free pews. The will to fight. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh my gracious. Oh, there's one. All right, and we're throwing bleeds on him, which is nice. Uh, can we go for... No, the stun chance is too low. Let's just get the blight. Very cool, very cool. Um, now, I know I said I could go for that. However, I could also go for uh, breaching charge. Go for the dance. No, no, no. Let's let's play smart. Give me the guard. Very cool. Very cool. Now you give me three extra damage. <laughs> and everyone else gets a uh, little bit of accuracy, a little bit of prot, minus crits received. You fucker. All right, fine. Whatever. 41 damage! Good god, and he's doing it again! Ugh, okay. Give me the block again. We're pro I'm sure we're gonna be fine. My dude has three extra damage now, and he has 605 on top of that. I think... I could be wrong, but I think we're gonna be okay. I think we're going to be okay. Ooh, that's got to hurt. All right, I could go for the heal. I could go straight for the damage. No, the damage doesn't do much. Um, Go for the heal. Mm, not that great a heal, but we have 20 prot, which is actually pretty good. He's dead next turn. Guaranteed. God damn it. Oh my god! Are you kidding me? Uh, he's still probably dead next turn. Honestly. At the very precipice of oblivion. Actually, yeah, he's dead. He has 41 between the blight and the bleed. He's dead. He has no chance to survive. He should make his time. Um. Yeah, honestly. Literally. He's done. Thanks for the heal, dice. <laughs> Uh, just get him off death's door. Seems like the smart thing to do. Bye. Did he foresee his yes. own demise? <laughs> Woo! I care not. So long as he remains dead. Indeed. Um, get rid of the torches. Get me the pews. Uh, improvised orthopedics guide for the rescuer. Extra healing done. Less bleed duration received. Stun resist at the cost of move and debuff resist. On friendly skill, extra bleed cure chance. Oh, that's cool. So that gets better over time. I like it. Uh, don't need the stun stone. Don't really need the blueprint either, but I'll... Good job, me. I'll take it. We're done! All right, rest up, heal up, go home. A moment of respite. A chance to steel oneself against the coming horrors. All right, well, if afflicted, we could remove someone's stress but we're not. Let's go ahead and encourage uh, right there. Okay. Do we have anyone else who could, like, maybe help with his stress? I don't think we do. Well, whoops. Can we take this home? This gives protection, which is not 
very descriptive, but, you know, maybe it's nice. Oh, you know what? Why am I worrying? I have two more of these. The light, the promise of safety. Eat more food. There we go. Down to two. Go ahead and give him a pep talk. Yes, heroes are born of times like this. Now give her a pep talk. Chin up, still got a way to go before we can rest easy. Give more blade of armor. Again, I don't know if we can actually take this home. Then you give a Carter a pep talk. Countless thousand cells, each one cooperating like an elite military. And then you give Vaudeville a pep talk. You got this, I believe in you. There you go. Simple, effective. Circle in the dark. The battle we did it, lads. Mark in these stack. Um, you know, give me a shovel too. There you go. Those things seem to stack forever. Uh, we can go now. So pack lightly, serrate your arrowheads, and let's go. That was a slaughter. I mean, I almost got a little hairy with the with the profit, but honestly, yeah. We were okay. We had so much damage over time on him. Plus, I got greedy going after the pews, which you didn't have to do. But look how much gold we took home. 47,000. It would have been smarter, quote unquote, to go straight for the profit for all the damage because he had bigger single target slaps, but that's okay. We got greedy and we paid the price with diseases because thank you, Darkest Dungeon. Love you too. Self-sufficient. Spend or gain provisions on their own decisions. Probably getting rid of that. Robust is great. Uh, deep burn. Awful. Want to get rid of it right away. Vital. I don't remember what that does. It's gone, though. Uh, Red plague. Obviously has to go. Ruins tactician. Replaced on airing. Uh, slow recovery. Less healing received if HP is low. Kind of sucks. That kind of sucks. The degeneracy uh, of the hamlet is nothing, I fear, when compared to the condition of surrounding acres. I think that just gets rid of stress and does something else. I don't remember. Uh, anyway, we don't need it is what's important. All right, another boss down. Let's get rid of Deep Burn. Get rid of the Red Plague. And then for Osmond, we'll get rid of... Oh, wait, no, it wasn't on Osmond. It was on Paracelsus? Yeah, get rid of Self-Sufficient. I don't trust it. All righty, then. What you got going on over here? You got a nice mask for the rape. What do you got going on over here? You got a nice helmet? You got a nice uh, whistle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got a really cool looking shroud. I'll, I'll admit that much. Hunter's Charm, which is excellent. Extra damage. What's not the love? Highwayman. Oh, good God. Even more damage. I don't even with this game right now. Um, I got too much. Too much, too good. That is going to be it for this episode of That Plays the Dog is Dungeon. If you enjoyed it, make sure to let me know that you enjoyed it by giving it a like. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe for more because keep going and we'll stop coming until it does. And it will. Thanks again for watching this episode of Darkest Dungeon. My name is Fett, and I'll see you in the next video. Everybody owes.